to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a whip and chat, so grab whatever you're working on and work along with me. Today I am finishing up, well I hope I'm finishing up this week. Um, I don't know what I'm going to start on. I don't really want to start a new project, so I might do some cheating. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, I might pick up one of the projects I intend to uh, complete in the month of February. <laughs> I might I might start it early. Now, I think that two of the three events don't have to be new starts. So I think I will probably do that. Um, once again, don't tell anyone. That's just between us, okay? Shh. So it's fine anyway because they don't have to be new starts. But still, I wanted to try and wait but I cannot wait. I can't. I'm, I'm almost done. I need to start something else. So anyways, um, we will also today be picking our winner for the giveaway. Um, if you missed your opportunity to fill out that form, man, you got to watch the whip and chats. I know, <laughs> I know some people don't like to watch them, but it's where I talk to you, um, at a more personal level anyway. So I, I will probably always do my giveaways and whip and chats. So um, yeah, I will probably always do giveaways here just simply because it's the easiest for me, um, because I'm not going to make a whole video just to, um, insert, um, or just, just to put a giveaway in it. I would rather, um, already be making a video anyway. And, uh, so yeah, plus I really like to talk to you guys, um, and talk you through the process and everything like that anyway. And I feel like it's so impersonal if I just throw up a like random post somewhere you know so that is what we'll be doing today in addition to going over um, let's see what else do I, oh uh, my birthday so um, as I said in my last whip and chat I'm not somebody who typically celebrates their birthday but I am blessed to have some people who enjoy watching me and a lot of the people that um, have signed up for my birthday live um, are creators as well so what can you look forward to next Saturday? Well, this Saturday, I guess. This Saturday, you can look forward to um, a fun jam pack live. Sorry, I got a cat hair. <laughs> um, you can look forward to a fun jam pack live. Um, some of your favorite creators are gonna be there and some new creators and some people who are just uh, watching, you know? So you'll get to potentially meet some of the people that you interact with in my lives. You'll get to meet them and um, some new people as well, some people that maybe you haven't interacted with. So I'm really excited. Um, I have it broken down into groups and I've already assigned the groups as I'm speaking now. Um, they got assigned this morning. So if you're watching this and you um, are looking to potentially participate, I do have one spot available. So, um, and it is first come first serve. So I hope that um, if you are looking at it, I hope that you'll just go ahead and just message me um, because I kind of I'm I'm kind of hoping that we'll get a full house but I'm also not going to be upset if we don't because then it's just you know one last thing I have to worry about so <laughs> um, but anyways I'm really excited um, I'm so I'm so blessed to have so many people I consider friends and I'm just I'm just really I'm just really pleased with uh, with the turn of things. I really am. I have made some wonderful, wonderful friends and um, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, let's see, let's take care of some other business um, aside from my birthday and the giveaway. Um, I am also, um, I'm on Instagram and I am working my way up to 500 followers there. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, you should because I am going to be doing a giveaway there when I reach 500, um, as well as I just finished my 500 giveaway here. So it should be a lot of fun over there too. I don't post all the time, um, but I do post probably at least three times a week. So and, um, it's always fun there. I have met a lot of friends um, specifically only on Instagram who don't uh, have a channel or anything like that. So. It's really, really awesome to uh, interact with people all over the place. I have lots of friends from lots of different places, which is really, really cool. And I, I really, uh, I really enjoy sort of, I mean, it's, it's nice to talk to you here. Don't get me wrong, but I also love interacting on Instagram as well um, because it, it feels a little bit more personal because I'm not, you know, I'm not talking to you in a video. 
where you can potentially respond to or not. Um, I I love having conversations with people on Instagram. It's it's really it's really a uniting experience to see all the different people that come from all the different places and all be united by this one particular hobby. So, excuse me, my chair is probably gonna fart. <laughs> gotta, I've gotta adjust my sitting here. So, um, I went live today on Jenny's channel for Murderous Monday. If you do not know what Murderous Monday is, Murderous Monday is a uh, thing that we do every single week where we watch a season of a show. Right now we're working on um, how to get away with murder. We are entering our fourth season and we get together on Friday, uh, Monday, sorry, not Friday. We get together on Monday and we do a live together and it's always a lot of fun and um, it's, it's a really good time. So you should definitely consider joining us then. Um, this upcoming Monday it will be on my channel. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh, if you didn't know, Jenny has switched her live time uh, Jenny goes live now at 10 p.m. instead of 10.30 p.m., which makes it easier for me to be able to stay up because I am a tired lady. <laughs> so that is good. I'm really uh, happy for that. Let's see, what else? Um, taking care of some more business. Um, I have another little kind of announcement, but not really. Um, it's kind of, you know, evident. So I'm not going to make a huge deal about it, but I am working my way up um, towards another milestone on YouTube. So um, once I hit that milestone, I will do another giveaway. <laughs> so stay tuned for that as well. Um, and like I said earlier, that will be in my whip and chat. I will always do it in a whip and chat. Um, because the people who, typically, the people who watch my whip and chats are the people who genuinely are interested and not like, you know, everyone clicks on unboxings and there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. I love a good unboxing. Sometimes I watch unboxings from people who I'm not subscribed to and that's fine, but I really want it not to be something that somebody stumbles upon. You know what I mean? I really want it to be something for the people who have supported me throughout this past almost year. I really want it to be going to somebody who has made an impact in my life in, in some way. Um, and that would be you guys. You guys have made, and you've just made such a huge impact on me. Like, genuinely, you have. So, um,. Look out for that uh, whip and chat. I, I don't know if it will be the following whip and chat after I hit that milestone or not, but um, I definitely wanted to, because in the title of this, <laughs> it's probably going to be and a giveaway winner announced. So I imagine people are going to um, watch this one, if not the last one. So um, just so you know, that, uh, that giveaway is going to be held in a whip and chat. So... I just, I find it's easier for me anyway. Then it's one last video I have to find a place to put up because I don't know if you know this or not, but I pre-film content. So I am regularly having three or four videos that are ready to go um, at any given time. And right now I think I have even more than that. So uh, I have my content for the rest of January for sure planned out. So that's, uh, that's kind of how I do things. I don't, I can't, I can't possibly film every single day. Um, I have a small child, I have a full-time job, it's just impossible. So I will take my day off from work and I will film as much as I possibly can on that day and hopefully it lasts me a little while and then I will do it again on the next time I can. <laughs> of course sometimes I'm able to film um, not on a day off but for the most part. And this, this schedule that I have now with my whip and chats going up on Tuesday, I'm kind of intruding on some other people's whip and chat days. Um, Friday was a, a day that not as many people were doing whip and chats, but I just feel it's best for me to not do um, a whip and chat on Friday and then a live on Saturday. Plus, I'm also trying to, you know that whole thing where I said I was gonna give myself grace? <laughs> That's so funny, right? Oh my goodness, no, I have not been giving myself grace, but I'm attempting to make it so that I can. And uh, what I kind of mean by that is that when I go live, whether it's on Jenny's channel or mine, but when I go live, it's usually twice a week. It's on Monday and it's on Saturday. Um, and so I don't feel the need to 
put up seven videos and two lives. That's so just, it's asinine and it's, it's not really fair to me. So, um, not that it really matters what's fair to me, but I, I try and get out as much content as possible, especially since I am pre-filming and bulk filming, but, um, it's not fair to me to put that pressure on myself, you know? And that's, that's exactly what it is. It's not you guys putting the pressure on me, it's me putting the pressure on myself. And especially with me being stupid enough to, <laughs> to um, attempt to take on a whole nother YouTube channel, um, which I still haven't filmed any content for, but I intend to very soon. Um, I have to do my makeup at some point and I figure that's the day I'll film um, for that channel. So I'll probably do a makeup look and bulk film for that channel too. Um, that channel will start off very small though, um, and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I created a booktube channel, a channel that is all around books and um, talking about books and stuff because books is another one of my passions. I really love to read. Now, I haven't been doing that. <laughs> I haven't been doing that nearly as much, um, clearly, but um, yeah, um, I, do, I do love to read, so I did create that channel. Um, I can leave it linked in the description if you're interested, but I will probably be starting out really slow there, probably one to two videos a week there, because I can't be doing this craziness where I post every single channel every single day. She says, but thinks about doing it anyway. <laughs> so let me see. I also filmed a little bit of a collage. Um, I don't know if any of it's usable once again, <laughs> but if it is usable, I will go ahead and insert that right here. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. I am filming a little baby mini clog. I'm not sure which video this will be inserted into, but I'm fairly certain that's what's going to have to happen because um, I'm a crazy person and my content is already planned out for the next month basically so let's see if I can get you guys more centered but now I'm taking away the palm trees so whatever I wanted to get one of those arm things for the next time I did this um, but um, I had one before and the weight of my phone just broke it so I was like yeah probably not a good idea so I am currently driving in <sighs> the stupidest time I could pick to ever leave my house which is rush hour it is 5 50 p.m. on a Friday afternoon um, like I said I don't know when this is gonna go up and in what video but it will go up probably as an insert into something so let me tell you about my plans um, this is actually my third or fourth time filming this particular clip because I just keep um, having my phone fly so um, I am headed to Target. I work an overnight tonight, um, Friday the 22nd. I work an overnight, and so I need some of that Red Bull or I'm not going to make it. I'm just simply not going to survive. Like, bottom line, flat out, I will die. So, um, I, did, I did get to take a little bit of a nap today. So, that was good, at least, that I did get that nap. Oh, son of a biscuit, I missed my turn. Who did that? You did that. I was busy chatting with you. Oh my god. But that's okay. I can just go ahead and flip a Yui right here. Hopefully they will. Oh, there you go. Flying girl. Yes. You went for a ride. Alright. Okay. There we go. You're back now. I had to make a U-turn. Sorry. So I am now getting ready to turn on the correct road. Um, I have to go to Target to get the Red Bull and then I'm going to stop on my way back and get uh, chilies for dinner. So, that is the plan. Um, yeah, so um, I got several things for dinner. I spent way more than I should have on chilies, but I really needed to not cook tonight. I, I intend to start back up on probably Saturday and be like a normal functioning adult who cooks dinner, but I have been stressed, depressed, and not well dressed. Like, I mean, shoot, my hair isn't even well dressed. I got it up in a top knot thingy with a bandana thing around it. So 
gonna I'm gonna hold my phone steady while I make this turn so you guys don't fly again because I'm sure that was incredibly sickening for you um, I apologize so um, yep we are on our way to Target again um, I feel like uh, in my last clog insert a lot of people said that they enjoyed the clog um, and if you did enjoy the clog and if you enjoy this clog no matter how small or whatever size this clog ends up being you should definitely check out my good Judy Elizabeth Ensley she is the one who formulated the clog I mean obviously you know there have been people who went and vlogged from their car before but Elizabeth Ensley is the one who coined the term clog so that is her deal um, and I have just um, jacked the idea and ran with it. Um, I've done three clogs. This is my third clog. My first one was with Anna. My second one was a disaster, um, but I inserted into a whip and chat. So um, that's that. And then this one, I have a little bit more time to film because I'm going to a couple places. So um, yeah. Show Dutch that. Um, oh lord, something is hanging from your car, sir. You know, and one of the clips that I ended up tossing out of this one because it uh, it wasn't working because the phone flew. I literally watched a man almost get run over because he decided he was gonna jaywalk, and this guy pulled out in front of me. Um, he was turning out onto the road, so he was like, you know turning and instead of turning in even the first second or third lane he decided he needed to get all the way across so this guy is jaywalking and he like when i tell you this man had to hop back on the curb i mean it was crazy he had to like quite literally hop back onto the curb before he got run over by that crazy maniac who cut me off like honestly you know, I have jaywalked in the past. I am no stranger to jaywalking. I think we all have jaywalked as teenagers. I do not know how I got it to stay so steady last time. You just went for another ride. Um, but like I was saying, I am no stranger to jaywalking. I have jaywalked in the past. Like I said, I think a lot of us have as teenagers. Um, but honestly, that um, display of jaywalking was so scary for me because if he didn't get hit by that guy who pulled out in front, he very likely could have been hit by me if he didn't get his car out of the, or him, himself out of the way in time, because by that point he would have been, um, in my lane. So, um, obviously I don't want to hit him, but, um, so I got to tell target I'm here. Okay, my code for this time is 0128. So here is, um, it's just two boxes of Red Bull. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Um, once again, I don't even know if this clog will see the light of day. Um, I sure hope it does because of the work I've put into it. And I mean that I've put a lot of work into it because I keep restarting the clip because my phone keeps going whew, right across the dashboard. I gotta get one of them army thingies. But like I said, I had one. I just, uh, the weight of my phone broke it. So, let's see. I am waiting on my deliciousness. Well, I'm waiting on my Red Bull right now. Um, while I'm here, I figure I might reply to, um, I've, I've been pretty consistent with my comments. Um, I am usually pretty on top of it. Uh, always but lately I've just been like extra on top of it I'm getting it done faster than usual so that's always awesome I have one comment to reply to it is from the uncrafty crafter it is on my most recent video that I put up today Friday the 22nd let's see I'm gonna have to check out the medium and large start blah, 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 whatever that is I can't even speak words uh, let's see Oh, my, hold on. Hi. Hi, 0128, Abigail. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Okay, now I will go to Chile's. 
Um, that was... I didn't even get to reply to my friend's comment. That kind of sucked. Am I going to clear that? I don't think I'm going to clear that. Who put these cones here? That was so rude. Oh my god. I'm sure there was a reason for it, but um, there don't need to be cones in a parking lot. Just my humble opinion. Yes, I'm fully aware that my windows need to be greased. No, I don't want your opinion on it because I don't really care all that much. At this point, I'm just announcing that I've arrived. You know, like pull up to McDonald's and pull up to Target. Like I have arrived, you know. Somebody ordered a uh, TV. That was the other thing she was bringing to somebody's car. Somebody ordered a TV to be brought to their car, which go off like now you don't have to put it in your like drive because the target that I went to is a um, two-story target so now you don't have to walk down the stairs with it or take the elevator with it or trust it in the um, cart escalator so that's good but I don't know that I would trust somebody else with my TV I don't know especially like I don't know no judgments here I love everyone but that's for me personally I have to check my eggs before they leave the store and those are like what two three bucks usually um, so even when I get it brought to my car I have to check my eggs um, just on principle like because they're fragile they're fragile and so are TVs but look no judgment here I just, I would probably open it and make her stay with me while I looked at it. Um, I always check my food before I leave. Like, I don't know if you watched me check my Red Bull before I left, too. I just always be checking because people are human and humans make errors. I make errors, too. I used to work at, oh, fun story. I used to work at a Chinese restaurant. And um, I was only responsible for packing the food and, you know, of course, putting the sauces in and stuff. But... If they said an order was for something, because I didn't know what every single dish looked like when I first started, if, like, for example, somebody ordered, um, my phone keeps shifting, sorry, but, um, lo mein versus chow mein is where I was at. So I know what the difference is now, but, um, and I also learned what the difference was while I was working there. Um, it took me a couple days, but I, like, it was my first or second day on the job, and somebody ordered uh, lo mein, but they received chow mein, and like I said, I didn't know the difference, like, just started here, so they called me up and yelled at me and said, like, said, like mean things, like, this, see, the thing is, is, for me, if you leave me a hate comment or dislike my videos, I'll just laugh at you, to be honest. Um, I built up a really thick skin because of my time in customer service. So the guy yells at me. He calls me up and he says, You can't do anything right. Your only job is to pack food and take orders and you can't even do that right. And I was like, Honey, look, I don't really care about your opinions of me because it ain't, I don't make the food. And of course, like at that time, I should have known what the difference between lo mein and chow mein is. But to yell at somebody because they messed up or even if you don't even know that they messed up just to yell at somebody like that is is completely asinine to me but that's that's a side topic that we won't get into today but like people call me all the time at the hospital they work at and they'll be like I'm gonna sue your hospital and like boo I don't really care what you do you go do you I really don't care because it's not gonna affect me if you sue the hospital like the ho honestly, the, the reason that people wanting to be sued the hospital, wanting to be suing the hospital, just don't make no sense to me. Like, it's ridiculous. But that is, of course, always besides the point. Let me hold my phone steady so you don't fly. Um, yeah, but the reason that people want to sue the hospital is always ridiculous. Um, I'm not getting an answer on my phone call for medical records. Do you know how many people call for medical records a day? Like, you need to calm down. Like, calm down. Like, anyways, a side note there. But point is, is that, like, I built a thick skin because of my time in customer service. So, like, things like that don't affect me anymore. They, like, when I first started, I probably would have went home. Like, the, the phone calls that I get, I had some crazy patient call me up and say, I need you to dial this number for me. And I'm like, we don't dial numbers for patients. You know, same spiel that I do every other day. Some people are more accepting. Other people want to fight about it. But this particular person was like, I want you to get your fat 
fat ass up here and make the call for me. I'm like, sir, you don't even know how big my ass is. <laughs> like, I don't like, you know, but if I had, if I had received that phone call six months um, into my life working as uh, somebody in customer service, that may have really hurt me. That may have hurt my feelings. I might have gone home crying. Um, but now I could care less. Like, honestly, tell me my ass is fat. I don't care. Call me names. I don't care. I have been called because I, I couldn't give somebody um, the their birth certificate uh, from 10 years ago. I told them that they should call the health department and I literally had this lady call me up and say, you can't help me, then F you, biatch, and well, you know, B word. She said, F you, B, and I'm like, dude, seriously, like, I can't, first of all, I don't work in medical records, so there ain't nothing I could do for you anyway, but to call me up and yell at me because I can't help you, it, it just don't make no sense. So, long story short, I got thick skin, you know, but, um, I always check because you know we are human and we do make errors long story short way to bring it back way to bring it back now I got to figure out because I always go the other way to get to Chili's I never go the back way so now I got to figure out where it is I know it's right across from Taco Bell and there is Taco Bell so I'm gonna assume that this right here will be my turn hopefully I am correct um, if I'm not then I'm not you know it is what it is Fortunately, I don't have to make any turns or anything. I just, well, I mean, I will have to turn, but like I always get so much anxiety when um, I have to turn, like going across the plaza or whatever, and I don't necessarily overcompensating much. Anyways, um, I always get really stressed out when I have to um, go across multiple lanes of traffic when there isn't a light. I would rather go and wait at a light so I have a light they will tell me when it is safe to go so this is all good let's see oh look my phone is dying I swear oh my gosh I am like I was home all day today and I still can't manage to charge my phone that's disgusting have you guys seen that one? It's this lady and she's like yelling at her kid for something and she's like, DISGUSTING! Anyways. <laughs> a lot of the things that I say in videos are references to other things. Like there was this one time that this lady was like, Calm down! Calm down! And um, she was like being a Karen. Oh look, I have a popo behind me. Please don't arrest me for vlogging. Video logging. Now I have anxiety about this. You know, if you fall, you fall. I'm not moving my hand away from the wheel to grab it. I will edit it out later. I just got a popo behind me and... Okay, so you did end up flying, but um, for safety reasons, obviously, I could not, you know, mess with my phone because there was a police... Well, I guess it's not even really safety reasons. I just, there was a popo behind me and um, there has been an influx of popo in this area, so. Let's see. Oh, let me reply to, is that thumbs down her happy video? What? Oh, hold on one second. Abigail? Uh, yeah, Abigail. Abigail? Yes. So let me reply to Jenny's comment while I'm sitting here. Let's see. That's not the comment section. Here it is. Just replying to her comment. I'm sure this is not premium content, but this is this is what it's like when I'm texting. So you can enjoy that. Oh, here comes my food. Hello, I am back. Um, I check my food. As I was saying, the, the clicking. People have asked me how I type with them. My nails. That's how. 
very carefully with a lot of sounds. <laughs> um, yeah, I took off my headband and my sunglasses because it was too hot for the headband and I have to wear my sweater because it's just who I am as a person. Um, and then my sunglasses is obviously too dark. But like I was saying, they did forget my, um, my little drink, but like I said, not a big deal because I ordered myself a kids cheese pizza for dinner at work tonight. Like technically this is dinner, but I know uh, that if I'm up until 6.30 in the morning, 7 technically by the time I get home, 7.30 by the time I shower and everything, why are we braking at a green light? I don't comprehend why you people can't drive. I just don't get it. I just, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. It's not like this light just turned green either. I mean, I need to calm myself down because remember, we're supposed to be pretending like we're a good person so that you guys will like me. I mean, like not pretending that I'm a good person, but like just pretending I don't have major road rage, you know? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, they forgot the little kid's drink, but it's not a big deal. I have soda at home, it's not. I honestly, if the drink cost extra, I wouldn't have ordered it anyway. It just came free with the kid's meal, because honestly, for me, that's like a sip and a half of Sprite. I need to get in this lane, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. These people are speeding around me, and I don't even need to be in this lane anyway, so. I'm in the correct lane now. I will have to call my significant other when I get to the house because I cannot carry all this stuff inside like I my, when I tell you there are like five styrofoam containers there's um, one for my food one for my fiance's food one for my son's food one for my dinner food um, or my second dinner and then one with appetizers and then of course there's um, on top of that I also have uh, a baked potato. So, what the hell? Why would you come to a complete stop to turn and then find out that's the wrong turn? Like, honestly, it would not have killed you to just have turned in there so I didn't have to come to a stop twice. But that's literally what I'm talking about. I need to calm myself down because this is not how I want to be. I don't want to portray myself as an angry person. But when I get behind the wheel and you people can't drive, I'm going to yell. That's just fact. So getting ready to lose my phone again I'm sure it will go flying oh actually it didn't it kind of didn't move at all really um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end this clock here because I got to go into the house and I got to get my fiance to help me with it so have a wonderful time looking at these palm trees as I pass them they're beautiful and I'm announcing that I'm here okay thanks bye so hopefully at least a little bit was usable so that um, I don't look stupid for doing that um, yeah, so that's just kind of um, been a thing that I've been doing lately. And if you do like clogs, you should definitely check out Elizabeth Ensley. Elizabeth Ensley is the one who showed me what a clog was. Um, she posts them pretty frequently, about once a week. And I love her clogs. I love everything about her. She is so good. I love her. Um, so, and I've kind of taken it and ran with it. I've been doing clogs anytime I have to leave my house that isn't for work because when I'm on my way to work there is no way that I can have a conversation and not be stretched. But um, I filmed that clog on Friday um, right before I went in for my overnight. So I didn't overnight on Friday. I ended up talking to Jenny for most of it. <laughs> so that was good. It was definitely a nice, uh, nice break for me forget where I am for a bit. It was nice. Let's see. I think that um, I have kept you in suspense long enough. I will go ahead and insert the um, giveaway here. I will select my winner now. Okay, so somehow my audio got corrupted, but that is okay. We are going to roll with it. So you can see me here showing that I had 30 responses, and I'm telling you that there will be future giveaways, so make sure you look out for those. Um, and then I go over to the, let's see, come on, work with me. And I go to the responses, and I show the names. So everyone was assigned a number when they um, filled out the form. So I used that, and I used random number generator minimum one maximum 30 and i got number 10. so i went over back to the form giveaway thing and i clicked through to number 10. 
well, I'm doing it now. <laughs> and then I audibly yelled. I screamed when I found out who it was. I was so excited. Um, it was Randy. So congratulations to my friend Randy. Uh, you won my giveaway. <laughs> I was so excited um, because I couldn't believe it because we had just got finished talking on the phone. It's uh, it's crazy. Um, it was. <laughs> I really enjoyed our chat though, but I thought it was so cool that um, you won my giveaway, girl. That was really really cool. I was I was hoping that. Um, I was hoping that uh, it would be a good winner, and I, I was not disappointed. I mean, objectively speaking, anyone would be a good winner, but I always like it when um, the person who wins uh, engages with me in some way, whether it's on Instagram or on YouTube, and just um, just says hi, you know? I, I always like that. I always really appreciate that. Um, of course, I appreciate when anyone says hi in any, you know, any shape or form, but um, yeah, I was I was really happy. Um, I yelled. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm probably not gonna edit that out either. That I yelled. <laughs> oh, it was it was a nice surprise. I was shocked. It was nice. So let's see. Um, now that we've taken care of uh, the giveaway winner and uh, the clog and um, my announcements. Oh, just in case you were uh, still looking for more information regarding um, upcoming events, there are several coming up in February that I will be participating in. Uh, one of them I will be helping to host, that is Drill a Beast. I am gonna be drilling a beast uh, in February. The beast, the literal, the beast from Diamond Art Club. <laughs> um, and then of course, Yareli and Maritza's Reflect and Sparkle 2021. I have kitted that one up. I actually filmed a time lapse of that kit up. Um, so I will post that mm, probably a little bit uh, either in February or close to February because I got several other videos that got to go up in advance before that. And I um, am working on another side project. Um, as you know, I am crazy and I can't help myself and I'm just always looking for more ways to overwhelm myself but I'm currently in the middle of filming a couple really cool videos um, the uh, what am I trying to say let's see the um, those types of videos take a long time they're like over time videos it's like a clip here a clip here a clip here a clip here so um, have no timeline as to when that might go up but just know that I I'm always busy. I'm always working to come and bring you um, the best content that I possibly can. So um, if I have a couple days where I don't post for a little while, just know that it's because I'm working on other things to bring you bigger and better and longer and <laughs> more work <laughs> videos. Uh, let's see. I really don't have that much to say today. Um, I also filmed a time lapse of me organizing my desk and you would not believe what happened. I messed it up again. I don't have an excuse for my actions. Um, what had happened was I just put a whole bunch of stuff on my desk like to hold it there and then I never organized it so I kind of just like you know screwed up. <laughs> but um, yeah I think another video I filmed recently was a putting away my drill storage video. Um, I've done a couple of those in the past. Those are kind of fun to do. Um, they may not be the most fun to watch, um, but they are fun to do. It's a little bit of a chit chat type video. I talk a little bit about my experience with the canvas and oh this is a call, a call to action for any and all creators and on those who think that they might want to create. I want to see what you finished in 2020. I know that it is 2021, I know that we are almost over with the first month of 2021, but I don't care. I don't care. I am nominating the following people to give me a what I finished in 2021 video. Elizabeth Ensley, get to it. Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter, I don't know why you haven't done it yet, I've been asking for a while. <laughs> Urelli, I've spoken to you about this. Randy, I want to see what you did this year. Uh, let's see, who else do I have? Ashley, I want to see it. Um, let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Um, 
I can't remember who else I wanted to nominate off the top of my head, but I want to see it. Show me it. I want to see all of the things. So if you wouldn't mind doing so immediately, if not sooner, I would appreciate that. Um, yeah. I also would like to see a stash video from those people as well. So, but I'm, I'm not picky. I will, I will allow you to do it slowly. Um, I will see the, uh, I will see the, what you completed in 2021 first. Okay. Okay. Glad we had this talk. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's it for today's video. Not too much to say. I said a lot in my clog. And what I didn't say in my clog had to wait, obviously, until today to be able to um, film it and everything for the giveaway. So I appreciate you all so much for watching. Thank you for spending however long this was. It's probably like a 30-minute video. Um, I just have, I have a lot of my mind and also at the same time absolutely nothing on my mind that I can share. <laughs> But um, once again, going through the events that are coming up real quick, my birthday live. Um, I have a bunch of friends coming, and it should be a lot of fun, and I hope that you will join us. Um, let's see. Oh, and I did go live on Saturday with Nicole, and it was a good time, and if you want to uh, go take a look, it is up. I can leave it in the description box if I uh, remember to. I probably won't. Um, but if you just go on my channel and search, you should be able to find it. But anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for spending time with me today. I wish I would have had more to say. It would have been nice to have finished a little bit more of this diamond painting as well. But alas, the struggle is real. Alright guys, I hope that you guys are having a great day. And I hope that you are... Um, looking forward to some of the events that are coming up um, and if you're looking for more comprehensive information as to what exactly I'm going to be participating in I did do a planning video I can try and leave that linked in the description if not if I forgot please leave me a comment and tell me to do it all right guys that's it for today's video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up if you like me I would like to see more from me please hit subscribe I would be so happy to have you all right guys I hope that you are being safe washing your hands and taking care of yourselves Bye, guys.